You ever start clapping along or singing along to a song you think you know, and then you realise you're on the wrong beat? Well, for me, Chicken Fried by the Zac Brown Band is one of those songs. It's got that instantly recognisable nylon string guitar intro. But where's the one? Is it one, two, three, four? Or one, two, three? So I wrote it out and I eventually realized that the guitar begins on the second beat of the bar. But even then, I still didn't grasp that it's the second beat of the song's Anacrusis, a series of notes that comes before a song's first complete bar. So an Anacrusis is like, like the words, you know I like my chicken. That's where beat one's going to be. So he says, you know I like my, before chicken fried lands on beat one. So to count yourself in, you might go, one, two, three, four, one. Anyway, let's get down to business with learning this piece. I found this a really, really tricky piece to learn, which is the whole point of this, this clip. I haven't tuned down for this. I know uh, Zach Brown tunes the guitar once semitone flat. Didn't see a point because I'm not playing along with the recording. I imagine most people at home have got their guitars in standard 440 tuning, so let's, let's not bother with, uh, with that. So the main chords of the song are like a G, a D, a C, you know, 145 sort of thing. It's a simple song to just download the lyrics and, and have a sing of. But that intro kind of bugged me because A, I wasn't sure where it started and B, I saw the song come on when I played somewhere. The DJ put it on and the instant that guitar intro was played, the crowd was into it. And I thought, ah, oh, I want to get that reaction when I cover this song. So I sat down and, and wrote it out. It involves Travis picking, which um, I'm not going to go too far into here, but it's a really unorthodox style of Travis picking. I think that's what made it really tricky for me to learn. It's quite a, a pacey tune as well. It's about 170 BPM. So it was tricky for me to, to get it up to tempo. The Anacrusis, the lead in notes, feature a sneaky little pull off that's quite hard to hear. Two, three, four, one. So if just from the A to the G note there. And please excuse my D string. I mean, in lockdown here, can't get out and get a new D string. They're always the first to go on your nylon string guitar, aren't they? It's, it's horrible. It's flat and it's sharp all at once. Bar two kind of emulates the vocal descent of chicken fried. You know I like my chicken fried. It's got that little... It's not exactly the same, but it's kind of what it's hinting at. So, uh, three, four. The first beat of bar two, which is a G note, is almost silent, um, but it is there. And then the D and B double stop is played with the first and second fingers at the third and fourth fret on the B and G strings. You can hear him sliding into third position for that. Bar three. Bar three, another part of the intro that makes it difficult to keep track of where the beat is because there's no bass note on, on the one. So that's weird for Travis Picking to not have a bass note on the, on the first beat of the bar. Also, there's the thumb grab of the F sharp note, second fret on the E string for the, the base of the D chord. Then there's the tricky little simultaneous hammer on while he's picking a bass note. Bar four is also confusing because it goes back to a G shape when the chord progression should actually be a second bar of D at this point. Three, four. Then there's a little triplet on beat four to go into the C chord. So it anticipates the next bar. The whole bar is three, four. Bar five. 
I just found this bar so difficult to master because it just defies logic in its base part. In fact, the base is quite random throughout the, the whole thing. But for some reason, this bar in particular just did my head in. Just because it plays the C root note on beats one and two before alternating up to the third, the E, and then back and forth. So the, the bass part for this bar is like two, three, four. I mean, it sounds simple like that. One, two, three, four, one, two. But playing it in the passage at that, at the pace that's required, I, my brain just couldn't keep up. So to, to play it in context. Bar six. Bar six also gave me the shits. The bass starts on the third out of that last passage and the first melody note is the ninth. So we're on a C chord, but he's got a ninth in there, which just sounds beautiful, but it's it's not a, it's just not country. It's not nice and safe like a country song should be. Um, it's no old town road. Beat three of this bar features another triplet, uh, but this time the melody note the C note is picked along with the bass note that's immediately hammered on to the third of the chord. To top it off, the next chord, back to the root chord, which should be beat one of the next bar, is again anticipated on beat four of this bar. So it's like three, four, so it's your G chord again before we're actually on beat one. So the next bar is quite simple, bar seven is just a run up. That's country. Uh, and in between each of these notes, um, he's picking the G, open G string, until the last one. So it, uh, a C, sorry, an open B over the C bass note before, before the final bar, which is just one note. I'm not gonna tell you that until you hit like. It's a D.